Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice functional equations? We have f of x plus 2 equals f of x plus 5, then plus 3. And we are interested to find f of x. So let's consider the solutions. So from the given questions, we have f of x plus 2 equals f of x plus 5 plus 3. So a is the given question. So the first step is I want to replace x plus 2 to be having only x. But to do that, we are going to use changing of variables. We are going to let x plus 2 to be equals t. And if x plus 2 equals t, we are going to have x plus 5 equals t plus 3. Then we replace it as we have f of t equals the f of t plus 3 then plus 3 and after getting this i want to make f of t plus 3 to be in the position of f of t so what i will do is i will transfer f of t to other side as we have f of t plus 3 equals f of t minus 3. So this is what we are going to have. Then on getting this, we want to get a recursive formula. So since what we have here is t plus 3 and it gives us f of t minus 3. Let's try to look for a particular pattern if this will work. Suppose I increase this by 3, we are going to have f of t plus 6, this equals f of t plus 3, then minus 3. And with this, f of t plus 3, which is this, is given as f of t minus 3. So by replacing it, we have f of t plus 6 equals f of t minus 6 and again if i increase again by 3 we are going to have f of t plus 9 equals f of t plus 6 minus 3 where f of t plus 6 is also given as f of t minus 6 so by replacing it, we have f of t plus 9 equals f of t minus 9. So this looks like we have a particular pattern. So what we get here is f is always decreases by 3. Each time t increases by 3. So that is the pattern I derived. Then, in a general form, we are going to look for n. If n is greater than or equals to 0, we are going to have for n greater than or equals 0. So, the general form of this recursive is given as f of t plus 3n. This equals f of t minus 3n. So A is the general formula for this pattern. But how can we now get f of x that we are required to find? Let's solve this in a general form. Considering the periodicity of this, suppose from the first equation that we got f of t equals f of t plus 3 plus t, 
if I look for a periodic function, let's say h of t, and we are going to have, then we are going to have h of t equals, we have f of t plus t. So if h is the periodic function, and if you recall from the equation we derive, which is f of t plus 3, which gives us f of t minus 3. And suppose I add t plus 3 to both sides, I want to derive something of this form. We are going to have f of t plus 3, then plus t plus 3 equals f of t minus 3 then plus t plus 3 from here minus 3 cancelled plus 3 this gives us f of t plus 3 plus t plus 3 equals f of t plus t so this looks like h of t plus 3. So this equals h of t. Then if you consider this as h, h is known as the periodic and which always have the period of 3. So we have the period to be always 3 and we have this as a periodic function. So generally, if we try to let h be any function with period 3, then we are going to have f of t equals h of t minus t. So this implies that our f of t will be equals h of t then minus t. And changing t to x, we have f of x equals h of x minus x. So this h of x is any periodic function which takes any values as we have this h of x plus 3 to be equals h of x. So for all x. Now, h of x depend on any types of function we have if it is a constant function so we change this one to c uh, for the case of this given question that is given so we then have f of x equals c minus x or we can call it minus x plus c but if there is any other function that we are given so this will focus will depend on that function and we can quickly put a check if the left hand side equals to the right hand side by just substituting the h of x that we have into the original function. We are going to get the answer and this is how to solve this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. You can drop your opinion in the comment box. Bye bye.